Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we got an unboxing or an unbagging. Again, where do y'all get this trash bag material from? Because there's no option for this at my post office. Anyways, I hope you're all having a fabulous, fabulous day. I have no idea where this came from. So we're going to figure it out together. Okay. Okay. So we're going to open it up. And I think this might be... I'm the tissue box. What? Is this mine? It's mine. Oh! Y'all, I'm slow. Look, listen, I was in contact with the folks over at FG Normal and they were like, look, listen, you wanna show some more stuff? And I was like, all right, bet. And so they, they went ahead and let me pick a couple of things out to show you. So first things first, we got a tissue box. A little tissue box that says, I'm the tissue box. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, it's the tissue box. So we have this thinger here. Now we gotta figure out how to get in. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, I see a corner, I see a corner coming up. So we gotta figure out how to get in here without break, breaking it. You don't wanna hulk it. So this is a tissue box. It's a diamond painted tissue box. Now, the folks over at FG Normal, they have all kinds of crafty stuff. I like FG Normal. Do keep in mind that they do and may have some stolen images. If they do, please alert them to let them know. They are very good about getting them down. And uh, from as far as I can tell, uh, since the last time I've talked to them, anytime I've asked them to take something down, I don't see them put it back up, which is one of the reasons why I jive with them. I jive with them. So like I will always and forever be, unless they do something to make me mad, I will always and forever be loyal to FG Normal. I mean, I will check out other companies, of course, but I will always show their products on my channels because they have integrity and that's something that you can't find these days. So with that said, um, I'm not sure how you get the paper off here without tearing <laughs> up everything i wanted to show you the drill field but like i don't know how to get the pay oh there we go there there we go okay so this is what the drill field looks like look at that isn't that cool and of course it's that way for the all four or how many sides two four five five sides and then this is the top you have like i don't know if you can see it because i can see it clear as day but there's some like little ducky lips right here that are really cute that I kind of want to get to. Let's see, will it open up for me? Maybe, possibly, hopefully. There we go. Just be careful, because I just noticed when I plucked that with my finger, I saw the glue try to come up. So, we have a duck. Quack. <laughs> and I like ducky, so I chose the ducky uh, tissue box. And this is made of plastic, not wood, so it's gonna be a little bit more durable, and it does like, it's a little bit more malleable. So you can put your little tissue box in there, say for your desk, or if you work at like a, a school, you can put it on your desk for school for the kids, um, especially nowadays in the times that we living in. If you're not watching this during the time we're living in, uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Look, listen, it's, it's trying to get better, it's trying. All right, and then you got your little Ziploc bag here. <laughs> I love the Ziploc bag. You got your Ziploc bag. Uh, you got your basic tool kit. You got a boat and wax and y'all don't care so we got this here oh 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 fg normal what are y'all doing all right so we have this here and it has the letters marked in like i don't know samurai letters t throat chop s samurai so it has the letters written on. i've never seen a bag like that before it has the letters written on the bags and the bags are actually filled with air like <laughs> You ever get the bag of Doritos and you go to open it thinking it's full of Doritos and then you get it and you're disappointed because it's like half the bag? That's what I feel like this is right now. There's a little bit of static in there, but that's no biggie. All you got to do is throw a dryer sheet in there like a grenade. Boom. You're welcome. Um, so we have X. We got these chunky ones here for number 12. We got these little bitties for number or letter W. What? Or it could be M for meh, but I'm pretty sure it's W for what? And then we got this one here, which doesn't say anything. <laughs> this one's just like, you figure it out. So yeah, this one doesn't say anything, but you have all the drills you need to complete this little tissue box, which I think is completely adorable. So that's that. The drill filled on the tissue box did look really good. In case you forgot what it looks like, we'll look at it again. Um, again, just be careful when you're taking off this, this uh... oh, let me open that, put that back in there. 
So the supplies were kept on the inside of this, which is great because now I don't have to search around and figure out where the drills are. We're gonna close that up. And we're gonna open this side here. The drill field is nice and big, so if you're someone who's like has issue with sight or anything, you won't have problems with this one. www.xxx, that is inappropriate. All right, so the drill field is <laughs> clear I don't know what's wrong with me y'all <laughs> so that is the tissue box that they now offer at FD normal and again they offer more than one craft they have cross stitching embroidery diamond painting all kinds of stuff so if you haven't checked them out y'all look budget friendly I just I, I like FD normal they're just this just people they're good people all right and then this last one I don't remember what this is I only picked two items I think <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put that out there I don't know how many items are supposed to be in here but what the what the world what the hell is this what is this <sighs> okay so it doesn't want to come out of this package it's camera shy so we're gonna try not to hurt it okay there's wood on this side so we're gonna just we're gonna help it out we're gonna help birth it okay <gasps> oh this is something new that they offer, but hopefully packaged a little bit better. Um, <laughs> just that one side came up a little bit. This is a scroll frame diamond painting. Look at how awesome that is. Look at how big that legend is. Okay, and again, you have your basic of basic tool kits, plate of wax, green boat, and a pen. And I would throw it except for the fact that it has some hardware in it for me to hang this up on the wall. Because look, listen, look, listen. It is a round. It has 22 colors. This is what the image looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? I saw that and it makes me think of Rachel. So like, I was like, I don't know why like koi fish make me think of Rachel, but it seems like something that would be right up her alley. So like I saw it and I was like, oh wow, that's so cute. I got to get it. So here is the little koi fish, and I like the fact that it doesn't have anything on the sides. It's already cut down for you. You literally just drill and chill, and you can roll this up. And this is poured glue, so you don't have to worry about messing it up. And then when you're ready to hang it on the wall, hear ye, hear ye, diamond painting for everyone. Like, that's really cool. And it's a 30 by 40, and I'm not sure if it measures 30 by 40, but we can check it out if you want. Of course you want to. Why wouldn't you want to? So we're going to check this out. And I don't have to worry about like the extra stuff on the side because it's literally just this little thing right here. Framing option. Wah, 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 wah. And I'm on the wrong side. I ain't measuring the inches. All right. So I got 29 on this side. And this is hard to measure because it's, it's kind of bored. Like you got to like lift that board up and stuff and get it to stop twisting on you. All right, so we got 49 on this, or 29 on that side, and we got 39 on this side. So it's literally a nick off, but you can give them that little nick because of the fact that it's already framed for you, okay? And how would I work on this? Like this. It's it's, it's a 30 by 40, folks. It's, it's not rocket science. You just turn it sideways, boom, 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 pow. You can see, look how it's, you see how it's uh got the little divots in it? Section, this one section, two section, three section, four section. That's four days worth of work right there. Boom, you're welcome. So it also has a little string at the top so you can hang it. But I've always loved hanging uh, diamond paintings simply. Like I don't want to go through all that, that the dramatics of taking it to a store and having, plus there's no stores around here. Well, I have a frame store in town, but I'm not paying an arm or leg for that. So, and to flatten this out, all you would have to do is just lay something heavy on it. Um, also, make sure you pull the plastic back. And I, can, I, I know it's tacky because my finger keeps sticking to it. Look at the drill fill. Now, I don't like the fact that it does have the training wheels on it. But look, listen, they're lighter. They're not super bold. So that helps. Plus, it says hop. Can you find the word hop? <laughs> yeah, there it is. I want to see if I can find the word pop. But I don't think I'm going to find pop before I have to, like, you know go do adult things not like that you dirty birds all right so nice clear drill filled love the image i'm not gonna lie i would worry about the the diamonds that are close to the board 
but I'm wondering if they would touch. So there's that. But for the most part, it's actually a pretty cool little diamond painting. And they have all kinds of cool stuff like this over at, on their website. So I would highly recommend FT Normal for your budget-friendly needs. So if you want to go take a look at them, well, wait till I'm finished with the video. We're almost done. Like, you can you can hold off for a second. And, cool points. Wah, 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 wah. They come in baggies. Yeah! So I like the fact that they do come in baggies. It real big. KO54. So uh, that's also going to match this which of course has the picture on it to tell you which one it is. I love how this looks. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I think it's just because it reminds me of Japanese art. Now, koi fish not, not ja be Japanese, but it's what I think of. And then I think of Japanese art and then I think of Rachel. Rachel in Ireland, she's not even in Japan, but she talks about it a lot. So like, I'm just saying. And then of course, everything 22, it's, everything essentially is numbered. I don't want to take it out of there because it's, it's so nicely packaged. And you can see all the colors just fine so like we'll do a quick like you know scan over and they look like good quality drills I am seeing a little bit of trash in that purple right there just a little bit but that's okay because all drills have trash in them at some point let's look at the symbols now that I can tell you already right now number one what is it what is it I don't know what it is maybe if I turn it around look at it in the Nope. <laughs> Have no clue. All right, so I'm going to look down here. We're going to look at the rest of these first. Okay, so maybe it's a blank. Is it a blank color? Maybe. Is there blank colors on here? Maybe. It's a darker color. One is three. Oh, it's black. So it's 310. I'm not. I don't think I see a symbol on there, but maybe I do. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's the plus symbol? But the plus symbol... Because on here, it looks like there are a couple of ones that are blank. Like 7 and 8 are blank. 4 is blank. But I'm seeing symbols on the thing here. So I'm seeing G. And I don't see a G on here. So that has... They must have did a misprint or something. Because I'm... Is that G? Because if I... Okay. Look. Listen. Y'all tell me. Does this not look like a sideways G? But it's one of those like swirlies. And I don't see the swirly anywhere on the paper. So I'm gonna guess that's a typo that they missed those three symbols. Cause then number seven is on here as well. Essentially I would have to play process of elimination. And look, listen, they're not the most expensive kits in the world. So they're gonna have hiccups, okay? It's it, it's not the end of the world. Now if I paid an arm and a leg for this, yeah, you best believe I'd be fussing, but I didn't pay an arm and a leg for this. So I didn't actually pay anything. They sent it over to me. Thank you. Um, But yeah, that, that has to be some kind of a misprint or something. So I will have to go figure out what exactly these symbols are because I'm not seeing a plus symbol at all. Um, I'm also not seeing the two dots, which this one, number seven, is going to be the two dots. 310 is going to... Let me write that down right now. Hold on a second. Let me get my fancy pen of doom here. Um, so this is going to be the two dots next to each other. And then 310 is going to be the plus symbol. What's 823 going to be? Because I'm seeing... Oh, it's going to be the microphone symbol. So we got a little circle with a line coming out of it. Ah. I'm going to make that a bigger circle there. And then, what's the other one? Number 8. So I don't have anything for 4 or 8. 976 and 720. Sometimes you got to just go and figure out what colors... Uh, what DMC colors or what and then figure it out that way and I'm gonna guess because these are in numerical order because number one is 310 because these are in numerical order that's gonna help us so let's see what number is it number four is missing number four and if we look down here the one closest to that is going to be the check mark but just to check to make sure we're gonna pick out number eight as well which seems to be a lighter color. 
And if we look at the picture, and this is how you do process of elimination if you can't figure out like where drills go where and something like this happens to you, don't panic, it's fine. Um, so it looks like there's more of a yellowish tone to the outline of the fish's eye if you look closely, like if you like really look down into the fish's business. There's like a lighter hue of color around the eye before it turns orange and also back here. So I'm gonna guess number eight is going to be the, the swirly line and then number four is going to be that check mark. So we're gonna go ahead and write that down now while I'm thinking about it. So that when I do go to make, uh, make this, I'm not sitting here trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. So this one is going to be the, what we say, the swirly. So we just gotta swirl. And then number four is going to be the check mark check and i think that's the only ones that are missing so like real quick that that didn't take too long so we're just gonna stick those back in there <laughs> so there you have it just a couple of items from fg normal they come out with new stuff all the time and i am happy to show it to you guys so if this is something that seems like it'd be interesting to you um they do have more than one of these scroll frame scroll, scroll frame diamond painting so if you would like to go check them out go ahead and head over to fg normal i will link both of these items down in the description box below and i'm back and without nails don't worry about that anyways let's have a chit chat real quick this is editing leisha or editing miss coffee um so you are gonna watch me unbox this image um this came from FG Normal. This was sent as kind of like a PR thing because they have some new diamond paintings coming out that are framed or frameable like this. Um, at the time of filming, I did not realize that this is actually a piece of stolen art. Now, am I going to take my video down? No. Um, this is a learning experience. When I tell you guys that companies have stolen artwork, that does not mean you don't have to shop with them at all. That just means be very careful in your purchasing because if you are someone of morals that does not want to buy stolen artwork, um, and believe me, this is a sensitive topic in this this in, in this community because apparently there are some people that think just because they can't afford them, that means that they can steal them. Um, I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody has to say. I understand and I sympathize with those folks that can't afford licensed artwork, but I don't think that that gives you the right to steal it. So with that said, enough of that. Um, I didn't realize at the time that I picked this image for the PR for FG Normal that it was stolen. It wasn't until after I had already recorded the video last week that I then went back and looked because I was like, I swear I've seen this image somewhere. And I did. The artist of this is Daniel Amaram. Um, I actually found him on Redbubble when I was shopping for some Geneva Bowers images. Um, so I did not realize that this artwork was stolen. But when I tell you guys to tell these companies when this artwork is stolen, this is the type of response that I would like from a seller. So I'm going to put the response up on the screen. Feel free to pause and check out what FG Normal said to me when I told them that this artwork is stolen. This is what I mean by I will stand with companies even if they have stolen artwork because a lot of them legitimately don't know. Now this doesn't th this doesn't negate the fact that they still have it and I I do give you guys warnings on sites that I'm not 100% sure on. A good 80% of the the diamond painting sites around have stolen images. But you want to make the sellers aware of this. If the seller says anything besides what FG Normal has said to me here, that is not a store with integrity. That is probably somewhere you probably should not be spending your money because why would you spend your money with somebody that's dishonest? What's going to happen if you have a customer service issue? So this is one of the main reasons why I do like doing these PR uh, unboxings for FG Normal because they are a company of morals. I have been working with FG Normal not as an affiliate, just as a customer and someone who will randomly do PR from them. I have been working with them for a few months and I really like FG Normal. They have good discount diamond paintings. The quality of them is good. And this is the first time I actually like picked out something that was that that was stolen artwork that I can show you what exactly they have to say about this subject. 
this is the reason why I will continue to support this company because they're trying to get better. They, they don't search every single image. And even for the images that they do search, they are trying to make it a point to not upload stolen images. images. So when they find out that one is stolen, if you take a look, this is the response that they had to me letting them know that this artwork was stolen. There wasn't a, well, we have to wait. It takes time to take these things down. And we have to wait because, you know, I want to sell out the rest of my inventory. They're going to get with their people, see what happened, see if it's actually legitimately uh, licensed artwork, like see if this artist is actually someone that they can work with. And if they can't, they're taking it down. That is their type of response that you want from a company. You want a company to have to put the work in, do that research in order to make sure that their customers are not only getting the best, but legal artwork. So I wanted to add this edit in here at the end of the video or wherever I decide to put it in the video, probably at the end, just so you guys know, this happens all the time. People will accidentally buy diamond or stolen artwork all the time, but as long as you make that seller aware, because like I said, I was unaware. When I searched for this first, the first time, it did not come up. It wasn't until I happened to realize, and that's what's so tricky about finding licensed artwork or finding out if something is stolen because I'm not. A, sometimes it will come up. Sometimes it'll come up with a bunch of different places that it's been seen. Sometimes it won't come up with anything. The first time I searched for this, it didn't come up with anything. The next time I searched for it, which I'm not going to lie, the first time I searched for it, it was a half-assed search. I just kind of went like, koi fish diamond painting or koi fish picture and then I uploaded a picture and it brought up a bunch of different websites but I wasn't seeing an artist so something told me to go over to Redbubble and search it for it by like just searching for koi fish and boom the image came up and so I of course will not be working on this kit on camera it is a beautiful image I did purchase a print of it from this artist that does not make up for the fact that it is stolen but I at least was able to, uh, sorry, there's, there's tiny humans in this crafty streets, but this at least makes up for the, uh, doesn't make up for the fact that the, art, the artwork is stolen, but FG Normal is working to try to make it right. And that's what it, that was, that's what makes a good company in my book. So that's why I will continue to do PR for FG Normal. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot you back to the original video. Bye. But with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I must get out of here, and I must bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, it's hard out here in these crafty streets, so please remember to stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.